Many companies throughout their lifetime encounter downfalls. So let's take a look at Pfizer, the world's largest pharmaceutical company. Inside the article, Inside Pfizer's Palace Coop by Peter Ilkin, Jennifer Reingold, with Doris Burks, they say that the downfall of Pfizer is pointed at CEO Jeff Kindler. But how can a man such as Kindler, with a startling resume and high honors from Harvard Law School, be such an ineffective leader when he was considered by General Electric former counsel Ben Heeman as a star? In addition, McDonald's says they also benefited from Kindler because he could manage complex issues with ease, work long hours, and make dazzling presentations. So, what was the difference between Kindler and Pfizer? Maybe the problem was with Kindler and Pfizer had to do something with job satisfaction. In particular, the job characteristic theory. The job characteristic theory states there are five characteristics that when combined results in high levels of job satisfaction with work itself. Here, instead of talking about all five, I'll be focusing just on two characteristics. One being autonomy. Because Jeff was CEO of Pfizer, he had the freedom to make choices and decisions for the company. But sometimes those decisions in the long run would not be beneficial for Pfizer. For example, he promoted HR chief Mary McLeod and compensated her nearly $1 million in perks and rewards because she encouraged his nature and behavior to get his job done. And as a result of her compensation, Pfizer had to do massive layoffs. Another example was that because Kindler was given autonomy to make discussions about how work was done, he was always constantly changing his mind. At meetings, he'd say, here's what we're doing, and then the next morning, he'd say everything would be off, even after many analysis and reanalysis. The second characteristic has something to do with variety. Could it have been that the reason why there was downfall at Pfizer was because Kindler was creating more work for himself? For example, he never trusted or didn't trust his co-workers or colleagues to perform their task. So he took it upon himself to scrutinize them and question them. On their terms, they say they felt they were being micromanaged. This leads to the question, was then Kindler really satisfied with work or just doing his job? And it seems that he was just doing his job because he, crit he criticized his workers and scrutinized them in addition to making decisions for Pfizer just to keep the company going instead of focusing on the long terms of making the company more successful. It seems he was just overwhelmed. He wasn't too happy with how his work environment was. Maybe if Kindler had paid more attention to the job character characteristic theory of uh, job satisfaction, maybe Pfizer could still be the leading pharmaceutical company today and Kindler would have been successful.